everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. It's a week till Christmas! I am so excited. I got loads of sleep and I'm full of energy. Totally different story to yesterday. We are currently walking the dogs. I say we. Mike is here. Hello. But my mum is also here. I don't know what you can see because I need to turn the camera around and then you can see them. Mum's here in her fabulous... I just zoomed in. I'm not entirely sure why. I'll zoom out. Yeah. Fabulous uh, matching coats. Mum's got the red wellies on. <laughs> and we are walking the dogs. It's actually not very cold today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not liking the fact that it's got not cold just before Christmas, really. But I'm eating my apple and we are walking and that is all. I've just finished filming two videos, one of which you will see uh, tomorrow. And Mike is doing a little bit of laundry. Look at these piles. Oh, awesome. Very organised. And this afternoon, it's about lunchtime now, I'm actually really hungry, but Mike wants to go because today, or this afternoon, we are going up to Chester, which is near Liverpool and Manchester, like up north, and we are going to pick up a new car because I wanted to actually mention about the whole car situation because a lot of people ask a lot of the time because we change cars a lot. Basically, Mike works in cars, so we change cars more than most people do. So we don't have like 50 cars, we just change them quite a lot. Um, so anyway, today we're going to pick up my new car. After my tyre exploded a few weeks ago, um, we just fixed it and then put it straight on sale because we'd wanted to sell it anyway and whilst it was getting fixed we thought, let's just do it now. And so yeah, that is gone and we're getting a new car today but we have to drive for ages to pick it up. So Mike's driving me up and then we're both driving down separately and it's going to be really boring. It says we can stop for snacks on the way but I have this in the fridge and I may eat a piece before we go. Thought I would do a quick outfit of the day before I go. My scarf is from Madewell. My shirt is from Topshop which is a recent one. My skirt is an old one from Tesco, F and F at Tesco, and then I have on opaque tights, and I'm wearing my old riding boots. I'm not really sure why I put these ones on this morning. I just grabbed them before I went out. Um, but yeah, these are Russell and Bromley. They're about five years old, and then I'm gonna wear my Zara coat, which looks like this, and that is my outfit for today. I've got to go as usual. We are late, and Mike is getting stressed. We should stop on the motorway to look for snacks. Is it just me, or does it smell in here? Smells funny. Like, what have you got Sweet there? Sweet chili chicken. Right? Sweet chili chicken. I think I'm going to get some sushi. Maybe this one. This one? That looks a bit rubbish. I left Mike and Waitress and went and got a coffee for me and I got him a little present. I got him a little gold coin because it's nearly Christmas. Hello, Snacktastic. Hello. Look what I got for you. Just don't need to do that. Do you know why? Because why? I got this! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you ungrateful. Double chocolate. Two chocolate. This oh my goodness, I got so much hair in my lip gloss. You know, this is not a good situation. Do you want you know one thing I forgot to tell you? What? The nearby that, to where we're going. What's that? Guess what's near near Starbucks. Us. Chocolate. No, read that. Cheshire Oaks. What's that? It's like Pista. Can we go? No. Why not? No time. Oh. Um, what did you get? You got a sweet chilli chicken wrap, some crisps. Not for you! Oh, and um, I got some grapes. I wanted some watermelon, but I think it's out of season. <laughs> they didn't have any. I got some grapes, and I got a sushi wrap. Yum! And a skinny caramel macchiato. Mike got an orange Capri Sun because yeah. he is five. So we picked up the car. But we're not actually in it yet because we parked it on the road because apparently it's really hard to park in the shopping centre that is next to the car dealership. So we are going, because it's now five past five, we thought it's a really bad time to come home. Um, and it's right next to like a big shopping thing called Cheshire Oaks, which looks quite interesting. Mike used to live up in this neck of the woods and he says it's not very good. We could also have dinner up here, Mike. I'm not gonna lie, they've got a Nando's. How would you feel about that? Interesting, Mrs. Bond. Um, so yes, I need to ring my mum because she was meant to be cooking dinner for us, but we're not gonna get home until, I mean, even if we left now, we'd be home at like half seven. So um, let's see what we find. We might find some shops. I thought this was an outlet center because this is the Coliseum. The Coliseum, yeah. 
Whereas Cheshire Oaks, I think, is the, no, this is Cheshire the next Oaks. one. No, that one's, oh, look, yeah, Coliseum that. Shopping Centre. Yeah, no, Cheshire Oaks. So Cheshire Oaks, I think, is... I think it's down here somewhere. No, don't think it's down here. I have never seen a Nike outlet store before. Yeah. Quite yeah. excited. Hello. I found your, uh, Christmas present. your Christmas present. Yeah, buddy. I made a purchase. I've got a bag within a bag, within a bag. Mike thought that was really funny. Look what we found. Do you think they have discounted sushi? I think it's yesterday's sushi. <laughs> oh, prices. gross. We are currently in Mulberry and I have found this. Trying to convince Mike that getting a Mulberry t-shirt for Piglet is a good idea. He thinks no. Say so what? Where are you going? I'm going to Eco. Echo? Laters. We are currently in Wagamama's. We are, I actually quite like these tables. I swear this is not like, this is not normal Wagamama's because they don't have the massive tables like normal. It's quite nice. It is quite nice in here. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna have, but I wanted to do a little haul video of what I bought. Can you get my Yankee candle? I didn't buy much. Mike, it's gonna be like five seconds. You do realize that. This so is what I bought. Mike's gonna show, show you what I bought. This is what you bought. You bought a bit of wrapping. I bought this. Dun, 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 dun. Can you give me a hand here? I'm a one-handed vlogger. I bought, are you ready for it? Dun, 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 dun. Christmas memories. This smells so good. It's like the um, apple one, but it has gingerbread in it too, so it's extra tasty. And what else? Because the new car does not have a What's it called? A Yankee. An air freshener in it. I bought one of these and this is my favourite smell, sparkling cinnamon. Oh, I thought you got yeah. the ones that actual like little mini jars, not the this style. These ones I think are better. Uh, yes, it's controversial. Pro. Controversial. I am this is slightly when, obsessed with car air fresheners. When I was really small, they used to have like packs of these, these you put into cars. Yeah. Like chuck them in. They remind me of being a kid. Really? Yeah. You know what reminds me of being a kid? My dad used to have the tree shaped ones. Do you remember yeah, those? That's exactly the ones I was the talking about. The tree ones, yeah. I used to Billions always want to play with them. I'm sure every kid probably did, but the tree shaped air fresheners were the best. You've also they not... smelt bad though. Also... They're like pine fresh. Yeah. What just happened? I ordered edamame with chili, chili edamame. salt. But I've got an ulcer on my top lip and it just went right in and it really hurt. I do not have an ulcer and it's just tasty. My food's arrived, Mike doesn't have his yet, haha. <laughs> um, I got the coconut broth with seafood and I got ramen noodles instead of rice noodles because they're tastier and it looks tasty. You are still waiting. My food arrived, <laughs> nice and tasty. Fleur's food's arrived, but what's going on over here? I went over my chopsticks and I flipped chili in my eye. She got chili eye. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> you know what could be worse? Could have been you. <laughs> So, I'm in the new car, Mike's behind me, and I'm gonna drive it home. I always get really nervous when I'm driving, like, like cars I haven't driven before, and I've got like two and a half hours, so hopefully we will be okay. <laughs> Wagamama's was delicious, by the way. I forgot to open my advent calendar. Day 18. I can't believe it's day 18 already. In a dream, an angel told the kings not to return to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem, <laughs> as Herod wanted to harm Jesus. And I wanted to harm this piece of chocolate. That was the most boring drive ever. It was like two and a half hours on my own. But there was actually a really good Christmas song show on Radio 1 where it was um, like all alternative Christmas songs. It was amazing. So we are back now and MDF is here doing some ironing. Well, you're not going to do it, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> I hate ironing. It's the worst job ever. I am doing present wrapping. I have a little... Uh, pile of prezzies here. I haven't actually bought anything from Dolce & Gabbana, I just have the bag just in case anyone is wondering and they get excited like, ooh, you bought somebody a present from Dolce & Gabbana? No, I haven't. Um, I have just got the bag and I just put my wrapping paper in the bag. So, um, yeah. Uh, what's going on over here, everybody? Squidge has a chew and is sitting quite anti-socially up there. Trigo has Piglet's whole face in her mouth. And uh, Piglet was just trying to, there's a noisy film on. Piglet was just trying to help me um, when I brought all the stuff down and put it on the floor. She was like rolling over like, oh, wrapping. I love wrapping like this. Wrapping, yes. Mm. I have done some wrapping. It actually doesn't look that much now, but it's taken me ages. Mike, what's the time? It's now midnight. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed because I'm tired of wrapping. I have actually almost finished. I've probably got one more wrapping session to do um, before Christmas, which is good stuff. I always like to spread it out with the wrapping because otherwise you just get bored and then your wrapping looks rubbish. So, yes, that is it for today. Squidgeroo's behind me. Isn't she the most beautiful thing? Hello. Hello, my love. Everyone has been commenting, actually, on my last video about um, me giving Piglet, who's just turned up here as well, giving Piglet, oh, what was that look for? Uh, more attention and more love than the others. And, no, I don't love Piglet more. I love them all so much. But Piglet, everybody is forgetting, is still a puppy. She's only five months old. So not only does she ask for attention a lot more, as soon as you come in, she's like, oh, hello, hello, hello. But she also kind of needs it. It's kind of a difference between having like a toddler or a baby and having a teenager like these grumpy gits. Um, they kind of are still bonding with you and they need a lot of love and a lot of attention and she is also smaller so I can pick her up and stuff so yes that is the answer to your questions and comments about these guys not getting much love they get a lot of love and they are very spoiled all of them um, they all have really different personalities as well I've said it before about Treacle because a lot of people used to say oh you know you love Squidge more than Treacle but Treacle's always very been a very funny character like she only wants attention on her terms like when she wants it and she will take herself over and sit on the other sofa and she will sit in the corner and she will kind of distance herself from you a little bit. She's also a lot closer to Mike, so Squidge and Piglet are very much, <laughs> scratching their ears, are very much um, my dogs and Treacle is Mike's dog really. So even though they're obviously both, both of ours, but in terms of who they're like most closely bonded with. So yes, that is the dog story and that is it for Vlogmas day 18. I cannot actually believe we are nearly at Christmas. This is great. I can't even fathom it. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Who's this creeper? Chica wants to say goodnight. Oh, she does? I was just saying about the dog. What's she doing? Get ready for the jingle.